In this video, I am going to show you how to absolutely bag the bunch tight end bomb, which is arguably the best money play in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. This tip is absolutely huge, especially if you are somebody that is struggling to defend bunch tight end. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. I'm really, really excited to share this with you. You can actually do this out of any formation. I'm going to be talking about how to do this out of the big nickel over G and the reason why is because the big nickel over G is in the kind of the meta playbook. Most defensive playbooks are 4-6. Are if you're running 3-5, three 3-5 five, three five wide, you could do this out of nickel normal as well. Um, I'm, I'm actually working on a nickel normal ebook right now under the hood, putting a ton of lab work in. And uh, this nickel normal defense is I'm planning to try to drop this within the next one week to two weeks. Uh, we're probably going to drop a dollar ebook as well in our Patreon membership. So if you're not a Patreon member yet, be sure to become one. There's a link in the description below. As soon as you sign up for the Patreon membership, it's just 10 bucks. You're going to get immediate access uh, to everything. You're going to get access to all of my offensive ebooks, all of my defensive ebooks, and all of the ebooks that I'm going to release as soon as they launch. One of those, like I said, is on the, is on the horizon. We got three main ones. Big Nickel's coming out soon. We already have some stuff out of Big Nickel on the Patreon. Uh, we've got uh, Nickel Normal is a is a big one that I'm working on, and of course the Dollar Three Two Six. But guys, this video right here, I, I'm telling you, this is going to change how you defend bunch tight end. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Bunch tight end, PA boot. Over. I want to first talk about the problem and then we're going to talk about the solution to the problem. So here's here's the problem. I'm just going to come out in 335 uh, and I'm going to come out in cover four drop. This bunch tight end bomb is by far the best bomb in Madden. You know, here I'm going to show you exactly why. Um, there's a guy uh, that I study. Uh, his name is Joff. Uh, Joff's one of the best players in the world. He's uh, he's on, I think I'm pretty sure he's on the Needed uh, crew uh, with Clef the God. Uh, Clef the God also probably one of the top players this year. And they run or uh, Joff runs this almost every play. And uh, what it is is basically this right here. This setup right here. This is by far the best bomb. I talked about it in the first week the game was out. It's in my bunch tight end ebook. Um, Civil. I'm going to show you Civil's version in a second. Uh, he's he's uh, in the final 32, I believe, uh, right now in the in the MCS Ultimate. I want to say Ultimate Wild Card. I could be wrong on that, but I, I'm pretty sure it's Ultimate Wild Card Tournament. Uh, Civil beat one of my guys that I really like a lot, spamming buttons with this bomb. This bomb is really really good. So here here's the bottom line. Here's how it works. So. Uh, over for a drop you're gonna see uh, for whatever reason that he's gonna glitch to the deep uh, the deep streak and as you can see you can hit this over the top um, so that's cover four absolute laser over the top most of the time it's gonna be a touchdown I didn't get a touchdown right there but most of the time it's gonna be a touchdown now the next uh, the next setup the cool part is it's a max protect so you can't blitz it that's another thing that's huge about it here's cover three if you're running Mike blitz three or any kind of cover three especially with zone drops it's really really bad as you can see right there again I get over the top and again you know Godwin's not super fast if I have someone a little faster than Godwin right there you're gonna get a touchdown every single time uh, Tampa two let me show you this. And I actually watched uh, Joff play a game against Young Kiv. And legit, like, he ran this almost every play and drops. Like, he scores a ton uh, with this. I mean, this is, like, I I'm pretty sure it's this. It, it might be maybe slightly different. Uh, but what you see here, I don't know what I just did there on, on that. So let me show. Let me run that back one more time. I don't know. I got, I got kind of dumbed out. Let me show it one more time. Uh, so anyway, let's just do, you know, kind of this. This is cover two. Uh, cover two for whatever reason kind of randomly defends it the best but and I'll show you Civil's version in a second Civil's version is really good um, and I think I actually played a guy passing that up there you go uh, so there you see there's cover two um, I actually played a guy who ran this on me and, and it was just it was just tough to stop it's tough to stop uh, it's a quick snap it's very easy to quick snap it it's really not that bad so uh, well, last thing I want to show is cover three with two deep halves so what you'll see here, this is cover three uh, with two deep halves. You saw I already bombed cover four, cover two, uh, and cover three kind of standard. And then you're going to see here, if I put a deep half out there, it's really not going to do anything. Again, you want to pass lead that up. You can swerve catch that fairly easily. And again, if Godwin's just a little faster, it'd be way more separation. But anyways, you see that. It bombs match coverage as well. So uh, you guys know I like to run a lot of uh, cover six, cover four quarters, cover four palms kind of thing. Um, this bombs match coverage as well, at least the base way that most people run match coverage. Okay, we're going to get into that in just a second. 
So you'll see here, cover four, show two. It's really a man-to-man -man thing at that point. It, it's going to it's gonna beat match just like it's going to beat man. So that's why a lot of people put deep out elite there. They might put a route tech there. The bottom line is this bomb is really good, okay? Uh, now, let me show you Civil's bomb. I'm going to show an abbreviated version of that. Uh, Civil's run this in almost every video he's done. Uh, but basically, it's it's this right here with the wheel. This is what I, a lot of people run online. If you play Weekend League or anything like that, this is the bomb that they'll use. And they'll do it just like that, as you can see. And, I mean, you've seen Civil do this a ton. I have a ton of respect for Civil. I think he's one of the best players this year. He's made massively deep runs uh, in the last couple of tournaments. And the cool part about it is everything that Civil does, it, literally everything that Civil runs is on his uh, on his YouTube channel. So people can lab for him and they still can't stop him. That's how good the bomb is, is what I'm trying to get at. So um, you'll see here. And we'll show you guys cover three and then we'll move on. So cover four, cover three. Obviously cover two is much easier to bomb. Uh, but as you can see there, you space the rack, but it's it's open, okay? So the question is, okay, the bomb's really good. How do we stop it? There's two different bombs. I'm going to show you how to stop both of them with the same setup, and I'm really, really excited about it. So Big Nick Clover G, cover four palms is the defense that we are going to be utilizing. And uh, what we're going to do here, so I'm going to set up the first bomb. So you see here, here's bomb number one. All we're going to do is we're going to pinch our D-line. You just do this mainly for the sheds. You don't have to do this for the coverage. It's primarily for the sheds. Crash your D-line out. And then what you want to do is you want to uh, bluff blitz in Dominican Sioux right here. And then you want to QB spy uh, Vita Vea. Okay, so as you can see, that's what we've got. Now, from that point, you're going to take this guy right here. Very, very important. Man him up on the tight end. Man him up on the tight end. Okay. And then, honestly, you can kind of use her whoever you want. I actually tend to like to use her this guy because I'm going to kind of play some chess with that little underneath route. Whoever you use her, you want to blitz him. But we're just going to be a D lineman to show you that you don't even have to use her the bomb, which is really, really good and why it's so good. So, uh, anyways, here's the bomb. Watch the safety on the right side of the screen. What you're going to see is he's going to go right to that bomb, and he is going to match that all the way across the field, and he is going to pick that off every single time. If some, if you are playing someone who runs this bunch bomb or this bomb a ton, they are going to anticipate that that quarter will drop off. He never does whenever you do the setup like I just showed you. That is super, super important, okay? So now I'm going to show it to you again. It's the exact same setup. We want to bluff blitz Sue. You don't have to QB spy if you don't want to. You don't have to, okay? Um, you just It just helps with the rollout stuff. Then we're going to man up Edwards. That's really the only adjustments you have to do, okay, out of palms. That's it. If you just wanted to do that, just do that. It's fine. Um, and what you're going to see now is I'm going to run Civil's Bomb. And as you see... Um, this is you got the wheel you've got the uh, streak and then you've got the deep post and watch that inside quarter again it's even much more effective against this this one as you can see it goes right to it takes it away and you pick it off they think it's going to be open i promise you anybody that runs this bomb with consistency because of how powerful the bomb is they think it will be open every single time you do these adjustments and i promise you you will take that away and you will force them to have to drive up and down the field against you and they're going to have to actually run some offense uh, to be able to be effective the best players in the world are going to adjust they're going to have some routes but this takes away the bomb. I think it's a super, super big tip. And guys, if you want to go a little bit deeper on the defensive level or you just want to get better at Madden, I would really encourage you to join my Patreon membership. By joining the Patreon membership, like I said, you get access to everything. You get access to exclusive tips, pro player breakdowns, offensive ebooks, defensive ebooks. I've got three ebooks that I just told you, all defensive, and that I'm going to be releasing within the next month. I've got two more offenses that are coming, the spread, the tight way off. We've got bunch tight end in there. We've got bunch trips tight end, uh, U trips. We've got, uh, I think, I can't remember. Oh, the Trio Y Flex is the one that I just put in there that I made it completely from scratch. It's very, very good. So I would really encourage you, if you are looking to get better at the game, you want to learn how to become the best batting player you can be, join the Patreon membership. Personally, when I was becoming and trying to grow and become a better player, even to this day, I will uh, learn from other people. I'll study as much as I possibly can. I'll buy ebooks. I'll learn as much as I possibly can about the game through other people's eyes. I really think it's a very effective way to get better. So uh, if you're wanting to get better at this game, 
join the Patreon. There's a link in the description below. It's just 10 bucks. And like I said, you get everything, man. You get 13 eBooks right off the bat. We've got, uh, we'll have 17 eBooks by the new year. And uh, I think it's going to be a great year. So uh, be sure to grab that. There's a link in the description below if you want to sign up for it. But this is how you stop the best bomb in Madden 22.